What is going on guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how to sauce up your samples and how you can take free VSTs with normal sounds and turn them into something that you would hear maybe in a sample pack that you bought or something. So it's a ton of sauce, I'm going to be breaking down some projects and hopefully you guys get a lot of game from this. So let's get started. So if you follow me on IG, you know that I always give out every Friday free VSTs. And in this case, I have a free VST called Labs. I think I did a YouTube video about this, about the free VSTs, but I know I'm due for another one. And in this VST by Spitfire Audio, they actually have a lot of unique sounds and it's all completely free. Now sounds good, but I also felt like I could give it like an analog kind of feel. And usually with these kind of samples, there's like a balance between natural sounds and analog sound. So I found this free VST called Super 7. And honestly, I've just been using it a lot. It's like been my go-to for the past, like since quarantine started. So as you can see, there's only two sounds. Now really the main point of this video is to show you guys you don't have to have like Omnisphere, you don't have to have all these crazy VSTs, just know how to use your effects. Let's start off with the synth. So with the synth portion, I use a VST called Primal Tab by Sound Toys, and it's basically like a delay, and the way, I just honestly use one preset. It was just through lucky scrolling, to be honest with you. RC20, you already know what that's about. Halftime, I don't even think I really use this. And then just EQ, just, you know, cutting off the low. Now when it comes to the guitar, In this, of course, RC20, I did tweak a little bit of the effects, but nothing too crazy. EQ and the same preset. It must work, so, you know, why not? And just these combination of effects flip this portion to be something that sounds vintage, something old. And even on like the master, I didn't do nothing crazy. That short delay makes it sound fuller. It just adds that little bit of grit to it and it just does something to make it feel a lot fuller. Sound Toys is really good for that. So let's move on to the next one. All right, so this last one, this is what it sounds like with the same Labs VST and Mellotron because I ended up buying it, but you can use the flute anywhere. Same thing, Labs. So as for effects, I didn't feel the need to put effects on each of them because vintage sounding already, unique sounds already. On the contrary, on the way out, I did use, you know, of course, RC20 with a little bit of a tweaking of the sounds. And then I used reverb. The sound picture, I have ADHD, so I don't want to hear one pitch too many times. I want to like try to see which one sounds the best to me. And then when I render it out, I just turn it off. So when you're minimal with everything and you render everything out and pitch it, this is what it should sound like. sounds pretty fire to me so that's gonna be the end of this video remember case in point use what you have and understand how you're using it because when you do that you can actually make anything sound old vintage whatever and also it helps to learn how they used it back then you could also use the vsts that you have that stock in here like for that delay effect you can use fruity delay and use the widen preset it's the same thing so that's how you sauce up your samples go crazy with it like comment subscribe as always links for the kits down below in the description let me know what else you guys want to see and i'll see you guys next time